Hey guys. Two, four, three is me. And I have a question for you guys. Is the 20 inch rifle not cool anymore? What happened? It seems like everywhere I look, everybody's just trying to like compact their AR 15 down to like the smallest like form possible. And when it comes to 5.56, I, I really am in the opposite mindset as far as doing that. Now, if we're talking 300 blackout, or, you know, like 6.8, or something a little bit heavier, you know, kind of filling a niche, I get that. Um, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about standard NATO... 5.56 five, AR Why is everybody making them so short? I mean I've always been told that For this round to be effective It needs a minimum Of 2,500 feet per second Minimum And the faster you make it, the better So I've always As far as my mindset anyway I've never shot anything smaller than a 16 inch barrel like this carbine I've always found a happy medium with the 18 inch barrels I think that's fine uh, I shoot a mini 14 which is it's an 18 inch barrel obviously and that does well um, but I really prefer the AR platform I just think it's good to have you know a mini 14 as a backup Especially with the, all the time, energy that I've invested into this cartridge. I've got a lot of this. I've got over probably 4,000 rounds of 5.56. And with, you know, politics being the way it is, you know, we're one mass shooting away from this being gone. You know, it's here today, might be gone tomorrow type situation. I mean, I hope to God that it's not. Because I really love my ARs. And I don't want to see them go. But I will comply and get rid of them if need be. That's why I have the Mini 14. Just kind of as a backup, you know. That way I'm not out all this ammo and basically no rifle. And that brings up another point. If, if you guys do have a lot of 5.56 five, and you guys do own ARs and it's within your budget maybe consider getting a mini 14 just in case this you know you have to bury this in the backyard for a little while <clears throat> i mean sell uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry sell these rifles anyway what i really want to talk about is do you guys own the 20 inch rifles or have you guys kind of jumped on that bandwagon and started like condensing your rifles and if you guys are condensing them, like the AR pistols I've seen, I know now it's legal, or I guess it always was legal, to put the, uh, what are they called, uh, like the arm braces, you can shoulder them, which kind of makes it like a, you know, a short barrel rifle without having to deal with all the NFA, you know, bull crap that goes along with getting a short barrel rifle or a shotgun or whatever. You know, I, is that what you guys are doing? If so, like, what's your mindset there? Is that, is it, like, trying to make it into a truck gun? Or are you just trying to, like, you know, get it into some kind of, like, hidey hole kind of thing? Or, or you know, I, I, I've heard the argument made, like, they're better for CQB or something, you know, whatever. I, I think that's complete bullshit. Because, you know, the Marine Corps and the Army has been getting it done for a long time with these 20-inch rifles. And if that's the case, that 16 inch rifle really is I'm really fine for that too, as far as home defense. This is actually what I shoot for home defense. It's actually kind of what got me on this rant. I was cleaning out the closet. I was actually looking for a shoe. <laughs> and I, was, I pulled this out and kind of set it against the wall while I was looking for it. And I was like, you know, I haven't done a video in a while. And I don't know, it just, it just kind of got me thinking. But I just wanted to ask you guys. What are your thoughts on the 20 inch rifles? Do you guys still like them? Do you hate them? Is it outdated? Are they coming back? Are they, you know, 
Like, is it a thing of the past? You know, I don't know. And then this too, guys, I wanted to ask. I just picked up, this is actually a uh, Palmetto State Armory Freedom 20-inch upper. And I'm... Uh, the the price on this was too good for me to pass up. It was one. It was during one of their deals. I can't remember if it was like a Fourth of July type thing or something, but it was super cheap. So I went ahead and ordered this, and I really don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So I've been looking for ideas. I've been asking people like friends and family and such. I wanted to ask you guys too. Somebody suggested turning it into a clone, like a M16 A4 clone like get a knight's armament rail and you know do all that you know cool stuff and I, I wouldn't be opposed to that but if somebody has a better idea or another way to go I'm all, I'm all ears I mean I really haven't decided yet but yeah just let me know guys and then just in case you're wondering this is a FNH FN15 with a 1 and 7 twist and then this guy over here if you followed the channel for a while you'll know what that is that is a Ruger AR556 topped out with the EOTech 512 and the Magpul sling it's just kinda like a patrol rifle concept I was playing around with it actually does really well I like it but yeah guys let me know is the 20 inch AR out or is it still good 243 is me signing out and we'll catch you guys in the next one.